The Oklahoma State Cowboys were supposed to be a contender in the Big 12, but coming off back-to-back -back conference losses, that now seems unlikely. Will a home game against West Virginia be the spot for the Pokes to get back on track? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get 30 days all-access NFL and college football for one low price of 199 bucks using the promo code FBALL30. This is available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. Of course, I recommend this guy right here. Uh, to be honest with you, we did struggle with our college football last week, but we more than made up for it by going 6-1 and one for clients with the NFL. In addition to that, we had uh, winners in five of our last six free picks with the NFL on this channel. If you want to join me for the month of October, wt.buzz slash js. Use the promo code FBALL30. Uh, as always, no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. Uh, the only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button. And that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. With that, let's get into it. Oklahoma State is a three and a half point favorite. The total sits at 65. That's been bet up from 62 and a half. I believe that total has been bet up for, for a good reason. Oklahoma State can't stop a nosebleed right now. Uh, the Cowboys got ran over by Kansas State last week, losing 42 to 20. They gave up 300 yards on the ground. They rank dead last in the Big 12 against the run. They're giving up an average of 5.3 yards per carry, opponents averaging 5.3 yards per carry, and over 200 yards per game. Uh, Oklahoma State, as I mentioned, they were supposed to be a contender in the Big 12. I, in fact, picked them at plus 700 to win the Big 12, not because I thought they were the best team, but because they had a ton, ton of seniors coming back, a super senior quarterback, what, a guy that was supposed to be the best running back in the country who has since done a disappearing act in Ollie Gordon, and uh, super senior quarterback Alan Bowman, who from one game to the next looks like he could be uh, a Heisman contender or a uh, a third string quarterback and last week it was a third string quarterback i think bowman's going to have a lot more success against a west virginia defense that struggles against the pass however um and both these teams rank near the bottom of the big 12 in total defense uh 14th and 15th in the big 12 in uh, total defense i i think both these teams are going to score 30 plus uh, even though it's been bet up to 65 i still like the over uh, I wouldn't like it much more than that, though. If it goes up past 35 or 65 and a half, I would say stay away. But as of right now, my play for this game is going to be on over 65. Uh, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, hit me up in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.